I had a, a, a conversation with a, a security company, mm -hmm. uh, protection, like mm -hmm. executive security company, and these guys are very, very good at what they do. One of the best in the marketplace, and they'll they'll hire a Navy SEAL or former mm -hmm. Navy SEAL or a you know former Delta or whoever it is to work with you. Price points change depending on uh, the individual's experience, but one of the services they offer is say. Say eight people at one point give you a death threat, mm -hmm. hypothetically. Say eight people said, you know what, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. They have software technology to track where that person is going to be traveling. Mm -hmm. This is working directly with the government. Now, it's a fee. It's not mm -hmm. cheap. It's a lot of money you spend with them. But that is of high value for somebody who is out there and is a public figure to say, I got these seven people who said X, Y, Z. Now I know when they're in, you know, landing in Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. a little bit increasing the protection. Hey, these next weeks, that guy's over here. So I can see value in that. I, I keep going back on thinking what the next level of what you're doing today will be. There's mm -hmm. always a next level of what you do. What you're doing right now, if somebody looks at it and says, okay, this makes sense where you're taking, you know, where you're at. By the way, out of your 3,100 agencies that you work in, are all of them U.S. and Canada only? Uh, the mainly U.S. Um, and then, Got it. Yeah, yeah. Is there any other countries that are with you now, or is it just U.S. and Canada? It's U.S., no Canada, okay. Ukraine, um, and that's all we have to announce on okay. other countries. Got it. So, uh, uh, so. You, you can do you have a bylaw or a um, uh, like a like a uh, commitment to the uh, uh, audience that these are multiple countries that we will not do business with are there any countries that you wouldn't take any check from them to do business with yeah, them? absolutely and I've said this before publicly yeah. you know China Russia any countries that are adverse to the United States um, you know we're open to selling it to any kind of democratically run country because our software is built with that in mind right these are after the fact investigations is very uh, suited towards uh, democratic kind of countries and that kind of judicial process so Iran would be out of it yeah anything that's sanctioned or partially sanctioned by the US uh, we, we wouldn't do and so yeah got it so so you said Russia China Iran uh, you probably add North Korea to that list as well yeah. and a few other com yeah. countries that are out so there that's a those are all definite <clears throat> no's right so would would the US government have any problem with what you're doing would they at all say something like, you know what, Clear AI, um, you know, you're, you're small when you had 10 employees, you had a technology we're doing, it's awesome, you guys had a you know, billion images, 2 billion images, you had 20 billion images, you're now helping governments like Ukraine, you're now helping XYZ type of organizations, you're the only one in the world, it's not like there's 50 of you out there, you're the mm -hmm. only one in the world that's doing what they're doing. Don't you think that whole only one in the world kind of scares the crap out of the government that has no control over some company that's the only one in the world where Time Magazine calls it the top 100 influential companies out there? Yeah, well, they're our customer, right? So we always collaborate with them on At the know, state ideas. level, though, not at the federal level. At the federal level, too. At the federal level, too. Yeah, too. Okay. FBI, Homeland Security, et cetera. DEA is also with you guys, I yeah, think. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, uh, federal agencies who use it for, you know, crimes. The government is really big. There's different arms of the government. You have Congress, you have President, you have the White House, you have, then you have uh, these agencies, and you have all that kind of stuff. So um, we have a lot of support uh, within the U.S. government. The Government Accountability Office came out with a report on all facial recognition used in the federal government, guidelines on how to procure it responsibly, right, how to use it, what kind of use cases, all that kind of stuff. So we've seen adoption there. And um, and we we really honored to help out. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.